Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 5. Write a program to find the largest among 3 numbers. So, first of all, we have to take 3 numbers. Here, I am going to take 3 variables called A, B, C of type floating point. Here, I will write A is equal to, I will write float and inside the round bracket, I am going to write input and inside the round bracket, I am going to write in a double quotation mark enter the value of a and end the double quotation mark and close the bracket next variable b of type float using input function i'm going to ask the user to enter the value of p end the double quotation mark and close the bracket and the third variable c is equal to again float type of data using input function we will ask the user to enter the value of c colon double quotation mark and close the bracket here we are going to check out the condition using if statement here i am going to check two conditions using and operator if a is greater than or equal to B and operator and if A is greater than or equal to C here we need to put colon as per the syntax of if statement if this condition is true then we have to execute certain statement here I am going to use a variable called large is equated with value A here after writing if statement there must be indentation either one space or tab space next we will use l if statement here we are going to check out the condition if b is greater than or equal to a and one more condition using and operator if b is greater than or equal to c and then colon if this condition is true then the variable large must be equated with value b we have got the next statement else colon and if everything is false then large is equated with value c now we are going to write the print statement here i'm going to write the largest number is equal to end the double quotation mark put comma and here I'm going to write large and close the bracket. Now let us check out the output. Once we execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the value of A. Here it will print enter the value of A. For example, I'm going to write 10. Next, it will ask the user to enter the value of B. So enter the value of b here i'm going to enter 20 next it will ask the user to enter the value of c now i'm going to enter 30 so after entering this it is going to check out this condition so first condition is what if a is greater than b what is the value of a here a is 10 if 10 is greater than or equal to b is what 20 so whether it is true or false so here it is false next we have got and operator so a is greater than or equal to c a is what 10 is greater than or equal to c is what 30 whether 10 is greater than or equal to 30 no so here false and false is false only so hence this particular statement will not get executed so it is going to transfer the control to l if statement and check out whether b is greater than or equal to a so what is the value of b here b is 20 20 is greater than or equal to a value is 10 yes it is true next we have got one more condition to be checked using and operator here b is greater than c here we will check out b is 20 is greater than or equal to c which is 30 here it is false because 20 is not greater than or equal to 30. So 
so whenever we use and operator true and true that gives us true result here it is true and false hence it re results in false only hence this particular statement will not get executed else part will get executed so here large is equated with the value c so c is what here 30 so 30 is equated to the variable large after that it is going to print the largest number is equal to what is the value stored in large here it is 30 so 30 will be the largest among these three numbers and you can change these values invariably and you can check out the result now let us execute this program and see what will be the output of this program here we have come in vs code let us go to new file and here i'm going to write program number 5 dot py is the extension and press enter here you can observe we have lab5.py file opened now let us take a variable a is equal to i'll take float type of data and inside the round bracket i'm going to use input statement and in a double quotation mark i'll ask the user to enter the value of a then i'll take b is equal to float and inside the round bracket i'm going to write input and in a double quotation mark i'll ask the user to enter the value of b now c is equal to float type of data and inside of the round bracket i'll use input and in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the value of c now i'm going to fast forward this particular program so that we can save our time Now it's time to save this file by pressing Ctrl S and let us execute this program. Go to run and click on start debugging. Otherwise, F5 we can press from your keyboard and click on Python debugger and click on Python file debug the currently active Python file. Here in the terminal below, you can check out it is executing and it shows the output now. Now it is asking the user to enter the value of A. Here I'm going to enter 10. And now it is asking the user to enter the value of B. I'll enter 20. Now enter the value of C. Now I'm going to enter 30. I press enter. Here you can observe the largest number is equal to 30. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. And if you want to check out this particular program, the link is given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And we will see you in the next video.